So let's going to have a look at how we can use the time button on the new calculator. So we've got a question to do with speed. So a car travels 38 minutes at 42 miles per hour. So we're going to use speed as distance divided by time. Now the distance we is what we want to find. The speed is 42, but then we need the time to be in hours. So if we rewrite it as distance equals speed times time. So our speed is 42 miles per hour. And then when we put that in our calculator, we want to put the 38 minutes in as an amount of hours. And to do that, we use the second function of plus. If you look above it, it has these little funny apostrophe symbols. So to put in 38 minutes, we say zero, and then we press shift and the time button. So that tells us that it's zero hours. 38 shift time button so that tells us 38 minutes and then you don't have to actually put in zero seconds you can just leave it like that now if you press execute it will tell us that that's 0 0.6333 of an hour so then we're going to times that by 42 and so we get the answer which is 26.6 Now, we can also use this if we get an answer that's in time. So if a car travels 100 kilometers at 30 kilometers per hour, how long does it take? So this time we want time equals distance over speed. Now, the distance is 100 kilometers. The speed is 30 kilometers per hour. So on our calculator, we're going to do 100 divided by 30. And that gives us the answer 3.333 hours. But that isn't very helpful. So if we press format, and then the option we want is actually at the bottom of this. So if you go up, you'll get to sexagesimal, hilarious word. Um, that actually just means base 60. That's what time is. So we press execute, and then we recognize the format. So that's three hours and 20 minutes.